So what are you doing, Bev? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Our first little anchor of our dinghy. After some practice in Loch Dranbui, we decided to do another anchoring, but time was marching on and we needed to move. So we proceeded down the side of mill and back towards Oban. The wind decided not to play and everyone we saw that day was motoring. No, no other vessels and then all of a sudden you have two at once. Right, hold on, going to be fair all week coming in a minute. There certainly is. Current helped carry us down to Lismore Island and the entry between it and the beacon. Then all we had to do was pass over the rips and currents that make the water in this area dance so much. Soon we were entering the approach to Oban and this time we stopped at the transit marina. The maximum stay in the transit is three nights but access to the town is better than the other marina which offers a water taxi service. Cost wise there's not much to choose between them. Well more tra uh, challenges for myself. Um, I came into Oban Transit Marina and um, I basically was on the helm and Beverly was um, doing the ropes and uh, the only um, casualty is uh, our boat hook which seems to be a bit bent but overall I'm going to class that as good because other than that there was no other damage. Soon we were on our way again and the wind still refused to cooperate, so we made our own. This is it. This is the face of the enemy. This is the sower of pots. He's just laid a big line of them across our approach to uh, Inch Sound and it looks like he's getting ready for another run. At least he seems to be having the good grace to hang on till we get past him. We passed into the side of Ling and the disturbed water that flows through it. We were lucky enough to encounter some wind, so we let out the Genoa to assist the engine. As we approached Loch Craignish, more rips and races were ahead of us. Soon we were through and in the calm of the anchorage. Well, Beverly and I are at another anchorage um, off an island called Goat Island, which is just north of Crinin, which is basically miles and miles away from our last anchorage at um, well, Drambui. Absolute miles, but never mind. Uh, we decided that um, we'd learnt quite a lot, and um, as with all things, there's more things that we need to be learning. Um, but um, we went back to Oban. Um, I started a new business in Oban, so um, I'm now officially a freelancer. So how that's going to work out, I've no idea. Never worked from a sailboat before, but we'll find out. Um, and uh, Beverly did a video, and now we're just north of the Crinin because we want to go to through the Crinin Canal later. Uh, but we just want a couple of days enjoying ourselves before we do that. Oh, look at that. Lovely little boat. Our first little anchor of our dinghy. Oh, look at Dad. It's a tiny little anchor. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't have been able to walk round. Look at those cliffs. Yeah. So, what are you doing, Bev? I'm not too sure, to be honest. The rudder is covered in some sort of blooming fine hairy seaweed. 
I've never seen the like of it before and it's very difficult to get it off. I mean to be fair it doesn't seem to affect the steering at all. But I just don't like having my rudder completely encrusted with goo. <sighs> I've got a long brush which is unfortunately has soft bristles. I think I could do with something with hard bristles for this. And I'm just trying to see how much of this garbage I can get off it. While Bev's um, fiddling with the rudder, I've laid table for the table for tea because it's such a nice evening. We might as well have it out here in the cockpit. Well, this is tea tonight. It's um, a chicken with chorizo, peppers, tomatoes, onions, and basically lots of good food. Mm. I'm replacing our old incandescent bulb with a nice new shiny LED one. It's just, it's a very difficult bulb to find because it's, um, the pins are uh, at odd angles, aren't they, Bev? What, the putting the housing on is hardest, was it? It's the hardest bit of it. So, now that I'm filming you, give us your witty pun of the day. Oh, come on, I'm waiting. I said it was very illuminating. Ha ha. Yeah, that's the level of puns we get round here. Not exactly the uh, very inspiring. Well, I'll put it round there for the red sector. I'll put it round there for the green sector. The next day, we went exploring in Salty Sausage. The local industry is fish farms. I like to say these fish farms. That's what you have to dodge as you go north. It's because that's what it says, going beyond the where we were. It says you do need to dodge the fish farm. And I can see what they mean. When we got close enough, we could see big fish jumping in the cages. Just when you thought it was However, safe to go back there was not much else to say, so Gainer did some practicing in salty sausage, and at one point I thought she was off. So, this has been the view from my office for the last two days. I've actually managed to do some work. I've written six pages out, it's all in longhand, but. Until I get a computer going <laughs> in some of these remote areas, this is what I'm having to do. But I can type it up when I get some electric pretty quick. But at least I've done the thinking. Been just so peaceful. The anchor alarm woke us very early next morning. The priority was moving the boat rather than filming, but afterwards we looked at the track and the plotter. We could see where the boat swung in the gusts as the anchor dragged backwards, so we packed everything up and we headed south to Crinan. So Bev, what are we approaching? Well, we're currently orbiting outside the Crinan Canal because we're waiting for them to open the sea lock gates, so we're just standing off going round in little figure eights and things like that. And um, we hope to go through the Crinning Canal and go into the perfect light. Crinning Hotel was obvious, more so than the sea lock beside it, but we had plenty of time to study the entrance whilst we orbited and dodged all the local rocks. Make sure you're cleated on the front. I am. You want your two bedrooms, you lower your lines. You, you put All the right. door to them.
I have entered the most alien, terrifying and frightening environment possible for a sailor to be in. I'm in a canal. <laughs> and it's not good.